Hi everybody, Chris here, coming live from my office. If you haven't been to my office, this is my office. And I'm just jumping on really quick because recently I saw this post and had me thinking about, you know, I've been a therapist for several years now and have experienced <coughs> ghosting by clients. And, and I'm gonna tell a story about that, but I just wanted to jump on because I don't typically agree with that. I, I, I want people to know if you need to ghost your client, ghost, <laughs> or ghost your therapist, ghost your therapist. and. Uh, the reason I think that this happens is there's a, several possible reasons for it happening, but you know everything from power differentials uh, to you know the therapy not going well and and you know people not wanting to be critical in particular ways. Uh, but also I I kind of strike it up to this cultural uh, inability how we're kind of socialized at least in our culture. Uh, the global north or what have you, I'll, I'll, I'll make it that large, uh, that we, don't, we aren't uh, socially uh, taught how to say goodbye. Um, and that oftentimes goodbyes are viewed as something negative and not something that can be considered a rite of passage or uh, just uh, a marking of some sort or an ending of some sort into something new. And so, yeah, so we don't know how to say goodbye to each other. And it often gets characterized in a negative light. So I wanted to tell a quick story. Um, one time I got ghosted by a client that I saw maybe three or four times and uh, disappeared. And um, it was a few years later, I think three or four years later, I was in, getting in my mailbox and I, there was a letter there and I came up to my office here and opened it up and inside the letter inside was a letter from this client that ghosted me uh, several years or a few years previous where uh, this client actually wrote me a letter and started by saying hey listen I know I you know abruptly left your life I know this probably happens to you a lot and I just wanted to let you know I wanted to write you and let you know what happened since I saw you last and and this client went on to tell me about all the changes that happened in their life over a period of time and that they were in a much better place and doing well and successful and all this kind of stuff. And, um, and it's, uh, it was just really impactful to me. I still have the letter at home and when I'm having bad therapy days, I, I, I will return to it often to be reminded of the impact uh, that we can have on others when we're having those days where we're not feeling very impactful. So, so if you are a client and you've ghosted your therapist, do not feel guilty about it. Uh, you can always come back. They will always welcome you back. We will always welcome you back. And if that's what you need to do, that's what you need to do. But I would also encourage all of us, myself included, because uh, I'm, a, I'm a notorious ghoster, social events only, not my client, not my therapist. Uh, but I, uh, I would encourage all of us to learn how to or to look at or to view saying goodbye in, in different ways that saying goodbye can have uh, profound effects, can be rites of passage and just can be a positive thing. It doesn't have to be a negative thing. So anyway, that's my, uh, my afternoon therapy talk. And uh, real quick, I got a couple of workshops coming up. One, The Four Noble Truths of Love. I'm doing it with Kelly Curtis, my friend Kelly Curtis, and we're going to take people through uh, The Four Noble Truths of Love, and we're going to do appreciative inquiry and working with uh, our preferred relationships. So please join me for that. I'm just on my Instagram or wherever you can find it. And then I'm doing a Sedona retreat with my colleague and friend Elizabeth Armstrong. She's another therapist, and we're going to take everybody to uh, Sedona, and we're going to have a a relational gathering and we're going to do lots of fun stuff more about that you can find it on all my social media and i hope you join us so anyway peace